Good morning, everyone. My name is Margaret M. Mitchell. I'm the Dean of the Divinity School and Professor of New Testament and Early Christian Literature. On behalf of the Divinity School faculty, some who are here uh, this afternoon or this morning, um, and together with the entire Swift Hall community of staff, current students, and friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you, graduates, family members, friends, and current students to this special graduation ceremony in the Divinity School held in conjunction with the 523rd University of Chicago Convocation. We are glad to see all of you here in this place at this moment. Some of you we know have traveled from a very long distance, uh, from many continents. All of you have traveled far in some ways, whether literal or figurative, to be here today. We're grateful that you made the journey and that you are here. Graduates especially, it's so much nicer to be looking you in the face. <laughs> Out on the quadrangle, you might as well have been in St. Louis. <laughs> so here we are uh, in this place. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce um, the, uh, the, the faculty party here. I would ask each please to rise when I say your name. Daniel Arnold, Associate Professor of Philosophy of Religions and Associated Faculty in the Department of South Asian Languages and Civilizations in the Division of the Humanities. Christine Culp, Dean of Disciples House, uh, Divinity House, and, the, and Associate Professor of Theology. Wendy Doniger, Murti Eliari, Distinguished Service Professor of the History of Religions, cross-appointed in the Department of South Asian Languages and Civilizations in the Division of the Humanities and the John Uneff Committee on Social Thought in the Division of the Social Sciences. Cynthia Gaino Lindner, Director of Ministry Studies and Clinical Faculty for Preaching and Pastoral Care. Wilhelmine Otten, Professor of Theology and the History of Christianity and Associated Faculty in the Department of History in the Division of the Social Sciences. Lucy Pick, we are kind of going back and forth, aren't we? Uh, Lucy Pick, Director of Undergraduate Studies and Senior Lecturer in the History of Christianity, Associate Faculty in the Department of History, the Division of the Social Sciences. Richard A. Rosengarten, Director of MA Studies and Associate Professor of Religion and Literature. William Schweiker, Edward L. Ryerson, Distinguished Service Professor of Theological Ethics. Jeffrey Stacker, Assistant Professor and Effective July 1, Associate Professor of Hebrew Bible. David Nirenberg, Dean of the Division of the Social Sciences, and Deborah R. and Edgar J. Janata, Professor of Medieval History and Social Thought, in the Department of History and the John U. Neff Committee on Social Thought, Division of Humanities. Dean Nirenberg has four different occasions on this convocation. We're really lucky and grateful, David, that you made it for this piece. Elizabeth Davenport, Dean of Rockefeller Chapel. And Christian Wedemeyer, Associate Professor of the History of Religions and Associate Faculty in the Department of South Asian Languages and Civilizations in the Division of the Humanities and a, uh, Assistant uh, Marshal for the University, which is why he's the only one armed uh, in, in, in the room. <laughs> Christian. And it is my pleasure to introduce Teresa Horde Owens, the Dean of Students in the Divinity School, who will add her words of welcome. Thank you, Dean Mitchell. It is my honor to welcome uh, our graduates, your families, and friends to this special day. I remember meeting most of you as prospective students, and I have watched your journey every step of the way, all the milestones that you've hit, learned about your intellectual interests, your families, your social lives in some cases. We are a better institution because each one of you has been here. I hope that you will go forward and remain engaged and enthusiastic alumni. Please do stay in touch. Wherever the road may take you from here, we wish you all the best, and you have my heartiest and warmest congratulations on your next steps. Congratulations.
like to introduce Assistant Dean of Students Margaret Sanford Norbeck and John Howell, PhD, 2013, coordinator for recruiting and admissions in the Divinity School, who will be assisting with our ceremony directing traffic uh, up here. Jamie and John, thank you. Let me set a little bit of context for what we're about to do here in recognizing these graduates. The Divinity School has been the graduate professional school for the academic study of religion at the University of Chicago since its founding in 1891. The school offers programs of study that educate students in the profession of speaking in an intelligent, knowledgeable, critical, rigorous, and honestly engaged way about a subject that I think we will all agree is largely spoken of in its opposite terms in the world today, and that subject is religion. Religion as a complex set of human phenomena through time into the present has many different manifestations. Swift Hall is host to a conversation from the widest possible range of perspectives and of interests in the study of religion, all set within the premier research university that is the University of Chicago, with our defining values, as you have heard earlier today, of critical thinking and advancement of knowledge so that human life and all life may flourish, Crescat Scientia. Vita ex Golator. William Rainey Harper, the first president of the University of Chicago, and I might add, selfishly, a biblical scholar, <laughs> was insistent upon the quarter system rather than semesters because he couldn't stand to see classrooms empty in the summer. Inquiry should go on every minute of every day and hour in Hyde Park at the University of Chicago. We graduate um, as one university as you just experienced. All 11 schools and divisions representing the multiple fields of inquiry into the meaning of life. Human life, animal life, planetary and cosmological, past and present. And this divinity school, as the school for the academic study of religion, is fully embedded within that larger sphere of human inquiry and search for new knowledge. The words that have been pronounced on the main quadrangle by the president um, in the name of himself and the board of trustees mean that you have actually already graduated from the University of Chicago. But I notice that you're not holding anything in your hands. Yet. Um, so the purpose of our ceremony on the sacred ground of Swift Hall, or the home court advantage if you prefer, uh, is to confer on you the diplomas which mark what has already happened out there on the quads, and you as students of religion know what a ritual is, um, uh, that your degrees have been conferred and now we present you with a diploma that you have earned uh, as graduates of the University of Chicago Divinity School. So you've been marching around in the hot sun for several hours, now it's time to give you something. So without further ado, we will proceed to honor each graduate. Diplomas for the four degree programs in the Divinity School will be awarded in the following order. AMRS, MA, MDiv, and PhD. Don't worry families, the students know what those mean. <laughs> will the AMRS graduates please stand? We now celebrate the accomplishments of these students who earlier today were awarded the Master of Arts in Religious Studies degree by the Board of Trustees of the University. These students have completed a serious program in the academic study of religion, including nine courses across the areas of study of the Divinity School and an oral examination with faculty on a piece of her or his own research. They have acquired foundational knowledge in the study of religion. It is my honor to present you with the diploma you have earned, and also the Divinity School would like to give you an added present, a donum of a University of Chicago pin uh, for you to wear uh, as a sign of your alma mater, the University of Chicago. Professor Richard Rosengarten, Director of MA Studies, uh, will present you with the pin after you receive your diploma. Ronald Dwayne Barnes. <laughs> Chris Hall. 
Christina Louise Jasko. Sophia Maria Moret. Catherine A. Smidstra. Tang Wang. Please join me in congratulating the 2015 AMRS graduates. <laughs> Will the MA graduates please stand? We now recognize the achievement of these graduates who earlier today were awarded the degree of Master of Arts in the Divinity School by the Board of Trustees of the University. These students have completed a rigorous two-year course of study, introducing them to the substance and methods of academic inquiry into the subject of religion in its multiple manifestations. These graduates, through coursework, language study, and examination, independent research, and extracurricular engagement have attained a genuine breadth of acquaintance with the methods for the study of religion and fundamental knowledge in their chosen areas of concentration. In recognition of your accomplishment, um, in addition to your diploma, you too will receive a pin uh, for your alma mater, a gift from the Divinity School, um, marking you as a graduate of our institution. I would ask now, on behalf of the families, that, how do we do this, that, a, that MA uh, candidates in the middle row please sit down. Right, is that correct? Have I got that right, Marshalls? Thank you. So that, so that then uh, anyone who wants to photograph can see and then we'll shepherd you up at the right moment, okay? Adam Joseph Bight. <laughs> James Patrick Breen. Deborah Ashley Campbell. Idan Dalshane Kahane. J. Elliot Evans. Janae Marissa Gurley. <laughs> Rafia Amina Kader. <laughs> Chime Chodon Lama. Nicholas Reynolds Lowe. <laughs> Daniel Andrew Owings. <laughs> Viraj Rajanikant Patel.
Alexander Joseph Shapiro. Trevor J. Simmons. Hector Manuel Varela Rios. Alexandra Marie Wadman. Connor Samuel Westby. Master of Divinity graduates, please stand. We now celebrate the accomplishments of these students who earlier today were awarded the Master of Divinity degree by the Board of Trustees of the University. These students have completed a demanding course of study toward professional competence in public religious leadership, including coursework across the Divinity School and the University, dedicated courses in the significance of religious experience, community, and discourse, attention to practice in the arts of ministry, and two attendant engagements in field education, as well as a senior ministry project and public presentation thereof that represents original research in the arts of ministry. They are trained for the profession of ministry. It is my honor to present you with the diploma that you have earned, and Reverend Cynthia Lindner, Director of Ministry Studies, will present you with a pin from the University of Chicago, your alma mater. Um, also, uh, MDiv graduates in the first row, if you would sit down, um, and then you know the drill. Fartoon Eden Ahmed. George Arsenault IV. Jonathan Deitch Berkey. Hannah Ruth Campbell Gustafson. Patrick Shane Durdahl. Neil Grams Ellingson. Gail Austin Goldsmith. Mary Ellen Jebbia. Elijah Darnell Kindred. Allison Beth Lundblad. (laughs) 
Seth Christopher Patterson. Margaret Olson Potov. Catherine Barnard Ray. John Mark Eisen Siangio, Jr. This afternoon, we recognize three graduates who earlier today were awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy by the Board of Trustees of the University. These doctorands have completed a rigorous course of study in one of the 11 areas of specialization of the Divinity School, including extensive coursework, 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 <laughs> examinations in languages, modern and ancient, comprehensive written and oral doctoral examina qualifying examinations, and the research and writing of a dissertation that has been approved by a faculty committee in their field of study. They are trained as professionals, research scholars and educators in the academic study of religion. It is my honor to present you with the diploma that you have earned. Now, these doctorands have not only gone in pursuit, but they have actually found some scientia. The PhD degree is a research degree. It is only received when the candidate has made an original contribution to humanistic knowledge. We wish to recognize, them by set, recognize that by sending them forth with a gift from Swift Hall of the hood that they now have the right and privilege to wear, which marks them uniquely as Doctor of Philosophy graduates of the University of Chicago Divinity School. Now, in presenting the diplomas and hoods to the PhD graduates, I will be assisted by members of the faculty who have served as advisors, or in one instance, co-advisors, uh, of their doctoral dissertations. Pierre Julien Daniel Harter. <laughs> Program of Study in the Philosophy of Religions. Doctoral dissertation entitled Buddhas in the Making, Path perfectibility and gnosis in the Abhisamyak Lankara. Hooded by Professor Daniel Arnold. Mark Edward Levecki. <laughs> Hooded by Professor William Schweiker. Program of Study in Religious Ethics. Doctoral dissertation entitled, With Malice Toward None, The Moral Ground for Killing in War. Degree conferred with distinction. Yeah. 
Erica Joy Johnson Tridel. Footed by Professor Wilhelmine Otten and Dean David Nirenberg. Program of Study in the History of Christianity. Doctoral dissertation entitled To the Jew First and to the Greek, Alonso de Cartagena's Despensorium Unitatis Christiane and the Problem of Jewish Flesh in 15th Century Spain. Dr. Tritt. I would also like to recognize now in absentia two doctoral graduates who were hooded in a special pre-Shabbat hooding ceremony in my office yesterday. Chaim Meir Niria, who was hooded by Professor James T. Robinson, Program of Study in the History of Judaism, doctoral dissertation entitled, It Cannot Be Valued with the Gold of Ophir, Job 28.16, Rabbi Yosef Ben Shem Tov's commentary on Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics, Sources, and Analysis, and Rebecca Scharbach Wallenberg, also hooded by Professor Robinson, Program of Study in the History of Religions, doctoral dissertation entitled, The People of the Book Without the Book, Jewish Ambivalence Towards the Biblical Texts After the Rise of Christianity. A round of applause for all the 2015 <laughs> two prizes to award uh, this afternoon. Each year, the John Gray Rind Award is presented to a graduating Master of Divinity student or students. This year, I am delighted to present the award to two outstanding graduates, Mary Ellen Jebia and Catherine Bernard Ray. Jem and Catherine, would you please come forward? The Rind Award was established by University Trustee and Divinity School Visiting Committee member James T. Rind in honor of his father, John Gray Rind, who was a Presbyterian pastor and teacher. The Rind Award is presented to an advanced student in the ministry program at the Divinity School whose excellence in academic and professional training gives notable promise of a significant contribution to the life of her or his religious community and to public religious leadership. Catherine, we look forward to outstanding contributions from you with a global perspective in pastoral counseling and leadership as a now ordained minister in the American Baptist Church. And Jim, to your vital and impactful work in, inter in interreligious dialogue and commitment to and enactment of chaplaincy in higher education on a new model. Congratulations to you both on your accomplishments and best wishes for your future. In 2013, in conjunction with the formal inauguration of the Divinity School's The Craft of Teaching in the Academic Study of Religion program, we instituted a Divinity School Prize for Excellence in Teaching. This year, that prize is awarded in absentia. That prize this year is awarded to Mary Emily Briel Duba, 
doctoral candidate in theology and known to many of these graduates. The selection committee for the prize was especially impressed by her statement of teaching philosophy, which articulated Mary Emily's view of teaching as a practice of hospitality and admired its execution in the syllabus and instructional materials for the course she taught at Lake Forest College entitled Religions, Earth, and the Human Creature, Religious Perspectives on the Environment. Mary Emily shows herself to be an intelligent, deliberate, self-reflective, and creative pedagogue and a wonderful exemplar of the values of the program and the Divinity School itself. So in absentia to Emily, a salute to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, uh, where she is today um, on her receipt of this award. Now, we're almost done. Um, my program says, or my script says, ad lib reference to the convocation address. <laughs> that may strike fear into your hearts, um, but it's as hot up here as it is there, and I won't go on too long. Um, but I will say that you know one of the joys of the University of Chicago and one of our great traditions is that the convocation speaker is never a politician. It's not a, a person in the media world. It's always a member of this faculty. And you heard today from Professor Shulamit Ran uh, uh, on, uh, on our faculty in musicology. Um, and the value of that is that the convocation represents the dialogue that is this university, this uh, rigorous engagement with things that matter. Um, sometimes uh, making an ad lib reference to the convocation address is kind of difficult because sometimes it can be on uh, a subject that might seem rather separate from the academic study of religion. But I heard many things that are right in our wheelhouse and I imagine you graduates who are nodding did too. For example, that it is an essential human need to make things and communicate them to others. Or this essential human need, the way she put it uh, in her language of what was it, caveman, caveman A and cavewoman B or whatever that was, um, that take note, I was here as a project of human individual life and human culture. She said, I too, am part of the process of cosmic creation. And she, as a brilliant composer and musician, saw her, sees her work as being a part of cosmic uh, creation. It seems to me pretty clear that the world's religions, in all of their multiple facets, both past and present, have made extraordinary claims at this very nexus of I was here and what did it mean? No wonder we are fascinated by religion. We who study and teach here in Swift Hall and seek to understand and analyze religion as a source for good and a source for ill, uh, as a tremendous exer uh, exercise in creativity, explosive creativity, and at the same time resistance to it. So I was here, take note. Uh, take those words away, graduates, into the lives that you are uh, headed off to from this to place in this time. Good words, I think, from Professor Shulamit Ran. So you graduates, whom we honor and recognize today, have been valuable participants in this conversation about the academic study of religion that is the Divinity School. We are proud of you. This ceremony marks a milestone in your academic achievement, but not the end of the conversation, because you are always a part of the Swift Hall community. Congratulations, and the best of luck to each of you. Now to the family and friends of these wonderful graduates, we are honored that you have shared this momentous and joyous occasion with us. The celebration will continue with a reception in the third floor lecture hall upstairs in Swift. You hear a lot at the University of Chicago about the life of the mind, and we really do prize and enjoy the life of the mind, but even the life of the mind needs physical sustenance now and then. So there is food and drink awaiting you upstairs. I hope that all of you will join us. Um, I would ask that you please remain in your seats until the faculty and graduates have processed out, and there will be ushers to direct you to the lecture hall. 
Thank you for coming, and we'll see you upstairs. Our ceremony is adjourned.